Here we have another episode that some fans considered kind of underwhelming, if not very underwhelming. Another episode which does kind of exist amidst an otherwise serious plot thread that realistically should have continued right away, that I liked a whole lot more than some people seem to be liking it. It's not the previous episode, it's not out of business, what I think might be the funniest episode of the entire series, whereas that episode really showed off this crew's ability to write really interesting forms of comedy, like, it was pretty genuinely brilliant. This episode once again showcases something that they do tend to showcase relatively often, and that's their ability to write cute. This episode was cute. At the end of the Ponyhead Show episode, Marco and Kelly decided that one day soon they'd have to get together and make a recipe so they didn't get to make one during Ponyhead's actual show. So Marco decides to go to Kelly's home dimension, and I don't remember what it was called. I don't remember what her people are called, I apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, he decides to go there and surprise her with the ingredients for this recipe he wants to make, and hopefully cheer her up after essentially ruining her life by lying to her about the state of wrestling, claiming that it's fake for some reason. I don't know why he'd be so cruel as to make that claim. And he finds her depressed. Her ex-boyfriend, Tad, is still bugging her, showing off how happy he is, and he may or may not be being malicious about it. I can't really tell. His character's strange enough that I can't really read the guy anyway. But either way, it's gotten her down, because she's not quite over him yet. And she doesn't like seeing his situation being so much better than her own. However, in her depressed days, she did forget to return a library book to the library and therefore can't hang out with Marco, at least she thinks that she can't, but he decides to go along with her. He likes books, he likes libraries, he likes Kelly. He figures that walking with her to the library should be a relatively enjoyable time. But throughout this episode, we learn that despite the fact that Kelly and her people are like adorable, fluffy monster things, they're actually kind of like a, a typical fantasy warrior race. They don't use money as currency, instead, in order to acquire something, you have to let yourself get beat up a little bit. You have to engage in a little bit of a fist fight and effectively let yourself get hurt. I guess, at least, because when Kelly was describing it, the person who was acquiring something in the transaction always ended up with an injury. The other guy, the guy providing the thing in the transaction, never seemed to. I don't know, it's weird. And while they're on the home stretch, not too far away from the library at this point, Kelly and Marco actually realize that one of the first fighting styles that Kelly ever learned as part of this warrior culture is virtually indistinguishable from karate, save for some pair techniques. Techniques that can only be done by two people in perfect sync with each other. One who hides in the other person's hair and attacks from it, and the other person who acts as the legs for the pairing. And already, as a viewer, I could see where the episode was going. These two characters obviously have a lot of chemistry. Now they have set up this two-person fighting style where you have to be perfectly in sync to pull it off. And then, suddenly, they realize they've been reading this book, this karate book. That's the book that Kelly is taking back to the library. So long that the library is about to close. So obviously, they're going to have to fight to return the book. That is clear. And sure enough, they get there, confront the librarian, they... They get there just late enough that they're not able to return the book. And it turns out Kelly is going to have to let the librarian cut her hair off as payment. Marco doesn't want to let that happen, so he challenges the librarian. He can't beat her himself, though, because he's a soft human. So Kelly fights along with him, and they pull off those combo moves and show that even though they haven't known each other that long, they're already that in sync. They have a fantastically choreographed fight with this librarian who had a lot of really neat attack patterns that she could use, and they win. They win the honor of returning a book late to the library without either of them having to get a haircut. Kelly's people have a weird society, but it's cute and it's charming, and the episode was cute and charming, and the talk that Kelly and Marco have here at the end where they both admit that they have this baggage from 
other relationships or other crushes in Marco's case. He admits here that he still has feelings for Star, but is trying to let her go. They agree to help each other out, not be like uh, rebounds or anything, but just spend time together and help each other work through those lingering emotions because they also admit here that they have feelings for each other, feelings that they hope will one day supersede those lingering ones. I got on the record recently saying that I thought that Starco was going to be the canon endgame ship of the show, that Star Wars is going to move on from Tom and end up with Marco. I don't know that I think that anymore. Like, it's still possible that the crew will pull another 180, flip another switch, and sort of roll this back and put Star and Marco together. But it really does seem like they're pushing for Star to go one way and Marco to go another. And I'm cool with that, in large part, because I liked Marco and Kelly's chemistry in this episode so much. They already had chemistry before an entire episode was spent showing that they geek out over the same kinds of stuff. Maybe this episode is kind of oddly spaced in that it seems to derail the ongoing narrative by being stuck right where it is. But knowing what little I know about the next episode, I kind of figure it had to go here, thematically speaking. And I don't begrudge its existence. I already said that I found it charming, and I think that's enough justification for an episode like this one to exist. It was also fun seeing the dimension that Kelly comes from. It had a really neat aesthetic, and Kelly's people, whatever they were called, please tell me many, many times, in the comment section what that is. All have really neat designs and their culture is interesting. It's a little one note and I doubt that it would actually function in reality, but it was interesting enough to drive the episode forward in a way which couldn't really be pulled off easily in any show except for this one. Like in fantasy and even in science fiction with things like the Klingons and Star Trek, warrior cultures are a dime a dozen and here you have one that has this unique aspect to it in, at the very least, its aesthetic. It was uh, something new to toss into the pot of this familiar trope that I've had a lot of dealings with, and I welcomed that. Also, the hair suit that Kelly had Marco wear for part of the episode to help uh, pad him from potential attacks looked really hilarious on him, so that's a plus. And I mean, heck, with Marco being kind of a butt monkey in a lot of these recent episodes, having stuff happen to him in the background of other episodes that's, let's say, unfortunate. It was nice to see him get something of a break and form this meaningful connection with another character. I do like him a lot and want to see him experience happy things. Oh, also, Kelly is a complete badass. I mean, we knew that already, but it was nice to see it reaffirmed in such a badass kind of way. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just expect different things from this show. Like, I will admit that this episode and the previous episode didn't really feel, like, tone-wise consistent with the rest of Season 4 up to this point. Like, maybe that's why some people didn't like them too much. But I really enjoyed the heck out of them. I think more so than I have been in a long time, I'm really anxious to hear what do you guys think about this episode, and... You can even talk about the previous one in the comments on this video, too, if you want. Or head over to my Discord, link in the description. But either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.